The reconstruction of society requires ideas about society, not just general speculative ideas, but ideas about the actual workings of each part of the social order. And these ideas are in the disciplines of society and history. When I began my work as a philosopher and a social theorist, I found the whole realm of social and historical study to be dominated by three tendencies. In the hard social sciences, beginning with economics, the rationalization of the existing social world, the established arrangements, especially the arrangements of the rich countries of the North Atlantic, are explained in ways that vindicate their naturalness, their necessity, or their superiority. In the normative disciplines of political philosophy and social theory, humanization, the established and inherited institutional framework, is accepted as the horizon within which we must work and within which we must understand. The objective is to propose pseudo-philosophical constructions that serve as props to the practices that humanize this established world instead of remaking and reimagining it. So for example, in the English-speaking countries today, the philosophers of justice, the political theorists, almost invariably take as their point of arrival, as their bottom line, some form of liberal social democracy. They accept the terms of the social democratic settlement designed in the middle of the last century. And what they propose to do is to show how philosophy can justify the re redistributive and regulatory practices of a social democratic state. They all agree about the bottom line. They disagree only about the top line, in which prestigious philosophical vocabulary is this conclusion at which they have already arrived before they began to think to be exhibited. This is not philosophy, this is window dressing. And in legal theory, what prevails is the attempt to represent law as a repository of impersonal policies and principles, as a flawed approximation to an intelligible and defensible plan of social life. The plan designed or presaged by that same social democratic settlement. And the idea of the legal theorists is that by idealizing the law in this fashion, we can improve it, and especially improve it to the benefit of the weakest groups. And in the humanities, escapism. Subjectivity embarks on a roller coaster of adventurism, of experiments in culture, in subjective life, entirely disconnected from the remaking and the reimagination of society. The adepts of these three tendencies, rationalization, humanization, and escapism, represent themselves to be adversaries of one another.
In fact, they are allies. They are allies in the disarmament of the transformative will and of the transformative imagination. The view of society and of history that they have produced makes a mockery of the task of thought because it severs the vital link between insight into the actual and imagination of the possible. 